This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com. One of my favorite things about CES is running into old contacts, and I'm here with Janice. Universal Display, we've been talking for at least more than a decade, I think. It's been a decade plus, yes. And, and you're the person who introduced me to OLED, or O-L-E-D technology, That's way amazing. back in the day. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. So all my knowledge comes from you, so thank you so much. <laughs> now, we've come a long way, so tell us, where are we now? Well, we are, we are firmly entering both the display and the lighting markets. There are a number of OLED displays in cell phones, MP3 players, TVs, it's a real and product now, right? It is like, real like, product technology. Last couple of years we saw Sony introduce an, an OLED That's right. like, small form factor. I noticed you have a... 11-inch TV. Right. And then I understand that like, so Samsung now has one. Samsung today is showing a gorgeous transparent OLED display in a laptop and also showing a 3D OLED display wow, amazing. TV. So, and so OLED really is it's, it's a, a product that's being sh shipping now and really into the future now we're looking at some amazing application for this thing. This laptop unto itself, it's, got a, it's, it's transparent, and it's, but it's super clear as well. Why do they do that, do you think? What's the, what's the premise behind that? Behind the transparency? Yeah. Well, I think it gives you a whole new way to communicate both sides of a display. You can have potentially two images on either side of the display, right. or you can be communicating the same image in a window, for example, or an automotive windshield where you're looking for nav information, for example. Of course, right. Um, this is a perfect ex so this product we're seeing here is a demonstration product, but of course, you know, transparency makes sense in all kinds of different applications. It certainly does. Moving into TVs now, we saw that you have a Samsung 3D capable OLED yes. right now. So is that real? Like, is that going to be a shipping product this year? Well, I can't comment on what, what Samsung's actually going to do, but 3D is obviously big. It's going to be one of the big things you're seeing here at CES. Right. And OLEDs, combining the two, is going to be perfection. Right. 3D and OLED with its beautiful image, its lower power consumption, right. is going to be it's going to be the future. And speaking of low power consumption, now we have OLED lights, right? Yes. Let's have, let's have a look at those for real quick here. So tell me what we're seeing here. Well, there are a couple samples of, of white OLEDs yep. that have the potential not only to have this thin, beautiful form factor, think about a bulb, replacing that with a thin panel, but it can be potentially twice as power efficient as the fluorescent tubes that are up in the ceiling. Wow. So it means we can cut our electricity bills in half and use much less fossil fuels in the process. So lower so, power and I guess cooler as well, right? Cooler, yeah. so less less air conditioning to take, get rid of that heat. Right. Now think about then the next step after this thin form factor is to put an OLED on a piece of plastic. Imagine what you'll be able to do with that in terms of architectural features, wrapping around lolly columns, wallpaper, same thing with a display. You will have a cell phone. Your cell phone would be a pen where you pull the display out when you want to use it and you roll the display back up, put it away in your pocket or your lapel lapel pocket. So smaller but bigger display. Janice, you're awesome. Thank you so much. All <laughs> Thank right. you. Janice Mullen from the Universal Display and that's the future of OLED. Well, also now as well. This episode of At brought to you by GoToAssistExpress. Learn more at GoToAssistExpress.com.